I decided that we were going to start in a different way today, and I've always wanted to do that and never ever have. So it is nine o'clock. And I think we're online. <laughs> that got everyone's attention. So call to order, councillors. Good morning and everyone welcome. Welcome to any community members that are here today, any visitors, guests. We have our local media from the Argus and we have Stephen here joining us this morning. Welcome, Stephen, to our September 2019 meeting. For any of those, and I don't think there is this morning, but for any of those joining us for the first time, Please understand that this is an open meeting of Council for the public to observe Council in its decision-making process. Could everyone just, uh, including any guests in the gallery, please check that your mobile phones and devices are turned to silent. Thank you. And it is, it is a requirement that I state that Kempsey Shire Council's code of meeting practice includes live streaming, I need to inform all present that your attendance at this meeting is taken as consent to the possibility that your image and or voice may be recorded and broadcast to the public via live stream. And also be aware that according to Council's Code of Meeting Practice in regard to any other audio or visual recordings of the meetings, prior permission must be sought um, and it, it's the decision of Council to allow, and it must be a unanimous decision of Council to allow any such recordings. For people in the gallery to follow the agenda, the recommendations for council that are discussing will be on the screens. And everyone is welcome to join us for morning tea, which is usually around 10.30. So welcome councillors, general manager, director Fish, director Mitchell, any staff that are in the chambers, and also welcome to the viewing public to the September ordinary meeting of Kempsey Shire Council. We move straight into item number one, which is our opening prayer. Dear Lord, help us in our deliberation today so that our decisions will be for the greater good for the whole of the Kempsey Shire. Amen. And Council acknowledges that this meeting is being held on the traditional lands of the Dungadi people. We have two apologies today. We have an apology from Councillor Sumigin and from Councillor Leo Horville. Someone move that we... Thank you, Councillor Second Shields. Back. Thank you, Councillor um, Saul. Uh, all in favour of accepting those apologies. Aye. That has been carried. There is um, item number four, which is the confirmation of minutes. The minutes have been circulated in the um, agenda. Second that. So it's been moved by Councillor Patterson. Second to Councillor Saul. Um, I put the recommendation. All in favour of the recommendation? Aye. All against the recommendation? The minutes have been carried. Sorry, excuse me, Madam Mayor. Yes. I forgot before. If the meeting does get to 1pm, I need to be excused. Uh, thank you, Councillor. We have to have a resolution if, um, to go beyond that. Sorry? Beyond 1 o'clock has to be resolved as such. It has to be resolved as such. Um, is there any disclosure of interest? Councillor Patterson. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, item 9.2, the mixed use development at South West Rocks. I, I declare, <coughs> this is an odd one, I declare a possible pecuniary interest. I will be leaving the room as my um, company is in the building trade. And on that particular item, I will be leaving the room. Thank you, Councillor Patterson. Um, count, uh, General Manager. Madam Mayor, I'm um, declaring interest in item 11.5, the General Manager's Performance Review. It's a pecuniary interest, so I'll be leaving the room. Uh, thank you. We now have move on to item number six, which is um, the items passed by exception. Um, listed are... Uh, 8.1, Do I have any questions or um, withdrawals? Oh, yes, there is. Um, Yes, 
Um, that's your delegate's report, yes. and you may speak to it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, just some things to add, which is, is uh, relevant for the valley. The uh, arts mid a new Arts Mid North Coast website will be launched November 1, which will provide stronger visual content and focuses on new key areas of cultural tourism and supporting local artists. And secondly, the Arts Mid North Coast will facilitate community groups, aged care providers, education and research partners for a three-year plan for the Mid-North Coast. Thirdly, the first regional creative ageing in Australia is to be completed for the Mid-North Coast and acquitted to federal government September 28. It's to be launched later with material and case studies for local government, community groups, aged care providers, education and research partners. Fourthly, the Arts Mid North Coast is making submissions in support of Maclay Valley Destination Management Plan. And fifthly, the Arts Mid North Coast has chosen Kempsey as the location of two major creative industries workshops in November by the New South Wales Government Consultation Consultant on Creative Industries. So, in short, the the uh, the report highlights that Arts Mid North Coast is doing a lot for our valley. You know, they're, they're, they're trying. Oh, oh, and lastly, lastly, the, the big news is there's $62 million available from Create New South Wales, the cultural arm of the, of the state government. And if, the, if you look at the report, you'll see there's links there where, where communities, uh, organisations in the valley can access, I think there's $20,000 grants, $50,000 grants, and then there's uh, quite higher grants you can go for. So I would encourage the people in the community to look at that, uh, look at those links and to apply for, for grants where, where they can. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Baxter. Um, question, Councillor yeah. uh, Patterson. Matter Madam Mayor, um, I'd like to make a comment on um, item, where are we? The uh, traffic item 8.1, if that's all right, just as we're going, yeah. Um, just as a member of the traffic committee, um, uh, with the RMS involved and obviously local council, um, I just want to make a comment that the RMS, they give... Um, uh, safer roads grants every year um, in New South Wales they give 87 uh, or there's 87 nominations and in New South Wales they only gave 15 and the Kempsey Council's well as RMS said have been going to be successful in four or five of the ones that they have asked for due to the um, the top work that our council staff do working with RMS and the local um, police in um, putting these nominations in and I just want to give our staff a uh, pat on the back for their great skill at doing this and um, that the RMS does hold our traffic committee as a benchmark for other committees that they yeah. go for. Thank you very much for that feedback, Councillor Patterson. Is there any other questions on the items for withdrawal or any withdrawals other than um, 9.8? Councillor mm -hmm. Morris. Not, not so. Well, I suppose it is a question. Um, I believe that 9.3 should be included. 9.3 is on the Country University Centre. It's consistent with what we resolved last month. It was resolved unanimously last month. I can't see how any council would be against it. It should go through as an exception item as well, as far as I'm concerned. Can that be added to the list, please? Is the mover and seconder happy to include? There hasn't been a mover and a seconder yet. Oh, I th oh no, there hasn't. <laughs> Sorry, councillor. Yes, yeah, um, yes. Let's um, include that. Um, unless there's anyone that objects to it and was going to probably vote against it. So if we could include that in. So now our um, recommendation looks like um, the Local Traffic Committee, the Australia Day Awards Committee, 
the Horseshoe Bay Reserve Master Plan Public Exhibition, the, the, country, the country, country University Centre, sorry, um, the Horseshoe Bay Reserve Master Plan, the financial statements, the alcohol free zone renewal, the community engagement strategy, the committee policy, the statement of cash and investments, the delegates report for Art in the North Coast, legal matters 11.1, .1, the tender evaluations for the supply and delivery of concrete and fibre reinforced concrete, pipes and associated products, the tender evaluation for the supply, delivery and placement of road surfacing and the tender for election services. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor. Um, Williams. All in favour of the uh, consensus motion? Aye. The consensus motion has been carried. Thank you, councillors. We now will go on to item 9.1, which is the election of Deputy Mayor. The first item, um, do I need to hand this over to you? Thank you, Councillor, Councillor Morris, seconded by Councillor Williams. Um, no, no debate. I put the recommendation. All in favour of the recommendation, all against the recommendation. Um, I'm now hand over to the General Manager. Through you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. We'll now conduct the election of Deputy Mayor. The Council has just resolved to actually appoint a Deputy Mayor under the Local Government Act. Um, at this stage, we have no nominations, so I'll just call for nominations from the floor. Are there any nominations for a councillor to be Deputy Mayor? You need someone to nominate you. Oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> I thought that was a declaration of interest. <laughs> sorry. Yep. I'm um, sorry. I have got one, and that is for Councillor Patterson. Um, it's duly signed and seconded and accepted, giving consent. Are there any other nominations? There's no other nominations on that basis, Madam Mayor. Councillor Patterson's elected as the Deputy Mayor for the next 12 months. Thank you, um, uh, General Manager. Before we go on, I do think that it's appropriate that um, we do formally welcome um, Councillor Patterson. But before we do that, I would just like to say something um, and give us the opportunity to thank Councillor Williams, who has decided to, um, to stand down as Deputy Mayor and thank him for the last three years, Ashley, Councillor um, Williams has been a great support, a great Deputy Mayor, and he's done everything that's been asked of him and more. So I really think the councillors need to put their hands together and say thank you to Ashley for a really great service. Um, I'd also like to give both um, Ashley as outgoing Deputy Mayor a chance to say a few words if he would like and then um, to congratulate, of course, Councillor Patterson um, for the next 12 months. Councillor Patterson already has had one year as Deputy Mayor um, and maybe then you would like to say something. You, you want to speak, Ashley? Yes, please. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I just want to say that it's a... It's been a complete honour to serve the community and our organisation as the Deputy Mayor. Um, I'd like to thank Liz for her support, um, all of the councillors and everybody in our organisation for the support they've also given me, um, but foremost the community for accepting me as the Deputy Mayor. Um, and I look forward to the next 12 months. And congratulations, Anthony. Thank you very much, Ashley. Deputy Mayor Patterson. I th thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, now, I'd like to once again ex extend my um, uh, thanks and congratulations for um, Councillor Williams, who was, has been Deputy Mayor for the last two years um, and done a great job at that. I um, have been Deputy Mayor once before. I think it was in our first term of Council um, two terms ago. And um, I do consider this a, a big honour to work with uh, Council and to um, be Deputy Mayor. Um, it, it's a very respectful role. Um, I look forward to working with uh, the staff um, and everyone here at Council and to move on in the next 12 months and um, to, uh, to celebrate um, another year of a, a great uh, team we have, which we have now 
since we have uh, had a transformation of our um, our uh, council uh, staff, and uh, it's been fantastic to be along on the ride, and, and then to be deputy mayor in our in our last term is a real privilege, and I and I do thank everyone for their support. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Patterson. We will now move on to um, item number nine point two, which is the mixed use development commercial shop top housing at Southwest Rocks. There is a recommendation. Um, Councillor Patterson is now leaving the room. We will remember to go and pick you up when, when we're finished. Um, if someone would like to close the door, that would be great. Actually, you don't need to. It's actually a public meeting. The oh, yeah. oh yeah. sorry. No, leave them open. The only reason we did that yeah. because we were under the impression that yeah, whoever no. left the room couldn't... Um, yeah, they, they, you should just go downstairs. He needs to go downstairs. OK. Um, we have a recommendation. Do I have a move on? I'll move that way. Then. Thank you, Councillor Shields. I've got it seconded. Second that. Seconded by Councillor um, Saul. Uh, any debate? I put the recommendation. All in favour of the recommendation? Aye. All against the recommendation? The recommendation has been carried. Thank you, councillors. <coughs> we'll now move on to... Oh, someone could please go and get pa Councillor Patterson. Um, we've done country universities. I think this will be one of our record meetings. If you, if you recall, we we had um, nine point eight. Councillor um, Morris. Oh, well, we wait till Councillor Patterson gets back. While we're waiting, Chair, can I speak uh, on a few words about uh, the Deputy Mayor? Um, we've, no, we've no? moved on. Okay. Okay, thank you. 9.8. Madam Mayor, I move 9.8 with the addition of a second point, and that second point being that we hold a information session. I note in the report it states that, but I believe it is worthwhile to have it in the recommendation so that it highlights it to the community that will be there. I remember reading the report and thinking there should be an information session, and it was, wasn't until almost at the end of the report. So a lot of people may read the report and not realise there is an information session. It just aids in our community engagement and notification to that effect. Thank you, Councillor. So the wording would be a community information centre session be held during public exhibition. Or that it be held. Yep. We've got some wordings. We've got a seconder. Thank you, Councillor Williams. Um, so I just wait for the wordings to come up. Yes. <laughs> or that account uh, that a community information session. So it probably sounds better if it's that a community information session be held. No, that Happy with that, Councillor Morris? Okay. Period, period, during the course of the public exhibition. Yeah. The exhibition. Right. Need the word we'll public put, put in, in there. We'll put that in there. Yeah. Uh, Councillor um, Shields. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Uh, not that I think it's required in the motion, but just to also make sure there's an, an executive summary as well. It is a, quite a long document just for people that won't get through the whole lot. Any further debate? I put the recommendation. All in favour of the recommendation, the recommendation has been carried. Thank you, councillors. Um, I think we're already on to... Um, no, uh, questions. Councillor, questions. 
Um, do I have any questions? I'll start with Councillor Williams. Um, Councillor Baxter. Just, just one, Chair. Um, is there anything Council can do to help progress the development of the old ambulance station into a youth hub for Kempsey? Thank you. I'm just going to uh, let the General Manager have some um, yeah, we will obviously answer this formally, but um, that is very, very well progressed. Council's been working really closely with the state government. There's money coming from the federal government as well. We met with the architects last week. Um, any other questions, Councillor Baxter? No. Councillor Patterson. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I just want to ask a question of uh, uh, 30 Broughton Street. Um, Re-storage of vehicles on site. Has the um, the owner of the property um, permission to do so? That's all. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Councillor Saul. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, question about Edgar Street in Prevington. When can we expect some road uh, rehabilitation for Edgar Street in Prevington, please? Second question on Edgar Street in Prevington. Do we have a start date for the curb and guttering that was proposed in the 10-year plan? And last but not least, Will Council undertake laying of baits for the rabbit plague in Cyrus Hall again? Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Shields. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, just regarding, can we have an update on the parking fines in Sturt Street, Southwest Rocks? So there was an issue that the street's very narrow, it is a two way street, and if the cars park appropriately and not up on two wheels up on the kerb or, or um, within the road reserve. They're actually being fined for that, but if the cars were to park normally, only one one way traffic can actually go down there. So just an update on the parking fines in Sturt Street, please. Councillor Morris. Um, the recently implemented requirement for an amendment to a motion to be considered in order, being that an amendment is only if it is acceptable only if it makes a minor change without adding any additional information. matters is inconsistent with Council's Procedures 514 Code of Meeting Practice. Clause 10 states that any motion or amendment that is unlawful must be ruled out of order. And Clause 10.11 states an amendment or to a motion must relate to the matter being dealt with within the original motion. Given this apparent inconsistency, will Council be amending Procedure 514 to articulate the requirements as verbally outlined at Council's meeting on the 20th of August 2019? Any further questions, Councillor? That ends the questions on notice. So we will now move into um, confidential matters. There is one confidential matter. So we need a resolution. Thank it's been moved by Councillor Saul, seconded by Councillor Shields. Um, we'll move into confidential. The general manager. The, and all the public need to leave the gallery, um, including the media. Um,
So we're now back in open council um, and the resolution um, has been recorded on that item that the information be noted. Um, and that concludes the September meeting of council. Um, thank you councillors, thank you everybody.